after the Boston Red Sox just wrapped up a doubleheader sweep, an overall series sweep of the New York Yankees, this week has officially come to an end, which means it is time for some new power rankings for Major League Baseball. This week, we've seen some teams get really hot and climb a bunch of spots in the power rankings, while other teams have played some below average baseball uh, against some not so good teams and fall a bunch of spots in the power rankings as well. As always, we're going to rank the teams from worst to best and starting off at number 30, we've got the Kansas City Royals. They stay in the exact same spot from last week. They went 1-5 and five on the week. 19-52 and 52 record. Royals don't got nothing going for them. Staying at number 29, they won two games to start the week to get their seven game win streak up there, but then lost the remaining five games in the week. 2-5 and five on the week, staying at number 29, the Oakland A's. After going 1-5 and five on the week, they are down one spot. The Washington Nationals come in at number 29. 28, 27, and 43 record. At number 27, we have the Colorado Rockies. They went 2-5 and five on the week, up one spot, and hold an overall record at 29-45. The St. Louis Cardinals, only two wins this week, came against the struggling New York Mets. They're down one spot. The Chicago White Sox come in at number 25 after going 2-4 and four on the week. They are overall down two spots and hold an overall record of 31-42. and 42. Speaking of those struggling Mets, the Mets come in at number 24 this week after going 2-3. and three. They did win that one game against the Yankees, and they won the Friday night game against the Cardinals, but man, pitching is a problem. They're down two spots. The Detroit Tigers, after going 4-3 and three on the week and giving the Braves their only loss of the week, are up three spots. The Pirates there. After getting some momentum against the Mets last week, they went 0-6 this week. They are down seven spots, 34-36 and 36 record. The Cleveland Guardians went 2-4 and four on the week, down two spots. They have a record of 33-38, and 38, number 21. At number 20, with an overall record of 33 and 38, the Chicago Cubs. They went five and one on the week. They're up four spots. Speaking of the NL Central, the first place team currently, but only by a game and a half, I believe. The Milwaukee Brewers come in at number 19. They went three and two on the week, up one spot. At number 18, we mentioned them at the intro. The Boston Red Sox have a 37 and 35 record. They just swept the Yankees, but they are down four spots. Even though after going four and two, but the teams that jumped in front of them, they are some good team the new york yankees we just also just mentioned them they are down seven spots after going one and four on the week they do have a 39 and 33 record but the yankees are in a big slump right now at number 16 the minnesota twins they're 36 and 36 they're basically right in the middle they went three and three on the week down five spots another team at 500 at 35 and 35 the seattle mariners they're at number 15 up one spot from 16 right where they belong we talked about one of those teams on the rise up seven spots the ellie de la cruz effect is in full effect out there in cincinnati they went six and oh a perfect week like i said 37 35 record they are coming for that number one spot, only a half game. The former champs come in at number 13 this week. The Houston Astros, after posting a 2-4 and four record, they're down five spots and over, hold an overall record of 39-33. and 33. Also going 2-4 and four in the week, down five spots as well. The Los Angeles Dodgers, who just like the Astros, very similar, 39-33 and 33 record. They did not look good against the Giants. Speaking of the Giants, they also posted a perfect week, and they come in at number... 11 39 and 32 record they are now in front of the dodgers in the standing six and zero. they are up seven spots another team up seven spots the philadelphia phillies they went six and one on the week and the phillies in their last 15 games are 13 and 15 in front of the phillies another nl east team staying at number nine though the miami marlins after going four and two on the week their record is 41 and 31 still such a surprising team I think around this spot's where you're going to see the Miami Marlins stick. Their record doesn't show it, but the San Diego Padres are up five spots, even though they hold a 35-36 and 36 record overall, number eight in the power rankings. They are looking good. Four and two on the week, up five spots. There's room to keep growing, too. Another team up five spots after posting a five and two week with the two best players in baseball, the Los Angeles Angels are number seven in this week's power rankings, 41-33 and 33 record. The Angels, man, if they play like this, they're going to be in the postseason this year for the first time in a while. And at number six this week, the Arizona Diamondbacks, they did fall out of the top five briefly, but play the Phillies. The Phillies are red hot. They went three and four in the week, but the team ahead of them that took their spot at fifth, 
They played some really good teams this week. Like I said, coming in at number five this week, we have the Toronto Blue Jays. I know they surpassed the Diamondbacks. Their record's 39-34, and 34, but hear me out. The Blue Jays this week played the Orioles and Rangers. They played them both closely. They did come out 2-4, and four, but the games were close. They scored a lot of runs. It just didn't end up going in their favor. So overall, the Blue Jays are going to end up at number five this week. Welcome to the top five, Toronto. At number four, and did have potential to climb up to number three, the Baltimore Orioles come in after posting a three and three week. The only thing holding them at number four right now is they had a slow start this weekend against the Cubs. They lost the first two games of the series and held out being swept. But the slow start against the Cubs prevented them to climbing up another spot. At number three, down one spot from last week, we have the Texas Rangers after they posted a 44-27 and record overall in a 3-4 and week. Like I said, the Rangers play the Blue Jays. They played them close. They won the last two games, there, but they're down one spot. At number two, the surging Atlanta Braves come in up one spot. They went 6-1 and on the week. Like I said, the Tigers gave them their only loss. The Braves, man, I think they're threatening for the number one spot. They don't have a bad player on the entire roster. So the Braves, look for them to be threatened for threatening for the number one spot next week. And then, of course, at number one, the best team in baseball all season, the Tampa Bay Rays. They went 3-4 and four in the week. If they played this next week like they did exactly like this. Granted, they played the Padres. They did amazing baseball against some good teams. But the Rays, they, they're going to have competition for that number one spot next week. So, yeah, those are our power rankings. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is the Dodgers, Astros, Yankees fall warranted? And do you think the Giants, Phillies, and Angels have what it takes to keep climbing up the rankings? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, hit that like button, subscribe. Come back next Monday for some more power rankings. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.